Hey guys, so today I want to show you one of the cheapest DIY Apple AirTag or Find My devices that you can get. Basically what we are doing is we emulate the advertising data of the Apple AirTag and use it based on the Open Haystack implementation or project. This project is not straightforward to use. You need an Apple device or a MacBook to use it simply. On a Windows machine, you need to set up a server and so on. I will not go into details today. I will just show you how to build such an basically end device. And yeah, what you need for it. You need a TLSR or a Telink TLSR 8252 or similar microcontroller. I'm using one uh, which is used inside of this TB03F module from AI Thinker. This uh, is available for around one euro and fifty cents on AliExpress. I'm using a battery holder for CR2032 uh, batteries to power everything. And to flash the microcontroller, we will use a USB to UART converter, in this case, a WCH. And you can see one dangling wire here. This is used as the reset pin as the flashing of the chip needs to be uh, done in a reset matter, which can be triggered by this pin. This is different on different USB to UART converters. I will link one down below, which looks like this. So you can yeah, also use it like this. And also, yeah, a soldering iron is not bad. Otherwise, you need a PC with web serial um, support. This is Chrome is the best for it and Windows as well. And what we are basically need to do to flash the microcontroller beforehand, before we connect the battery, we want to, let's get a, Nice tweezer out. We want to connect the DTR or RTS pin of the USB to UART converter to the reset pin, which is this top one here. We want to connect the TXD pin of the USB to UART converter to the SWS pin, which is the flashing or debugging pin. Then we want to connect ground to ground and VCC to VCC and vice versa. Make sure to use 3.3 volt, otherwise you could damage the module. And it's also worth to mention if you have any other microcontroller from Telling TLSR series, um, you can also use like the Xiaomi thermometer. It, it has the same chip inside. You can use like uh, the e-paper displays with this chip and so on. And yeah, I will just directly start and solder on these wires. I have the soldering iron ready. I have the solder. And we will yeah, basically pre-tin these four connections. So reset, SWS, VCC, and ground here on the other side, because the battery will be connected there later. Then yeah, don't, yeah, or ignore the wire color. This is just as it were laying around. Normally you would not use red as GND. So ground is connected. Then we can connect VCC. Then we can connect the TXD pin. like so and then the reset pin as well like so this is basically all the preparation needed now we turn to the pc and we'll flash everything to do so you can go to this uh, website i will also link it down in the description this does include everything so the firmware and the flashing method what it does not include is a public key, because that is something you need to su supply into it. 
you can get it from the open haystack yeah implementation or manual it's a unique one for each user you will know how to get and where it comes from if you yeah are into it deep enough other than that you can enter the key here you need to do it first i am just using something random now here and after that you can click on open the com port i'm connecting now the USB to UART converter because this way we can directly see which one is the right port. So it appears here and after that we can click on connect. It will then directly start the flashing procedure and just to have something to show what happens I have the NRF Connect app with enabled filter of the yeah, Apple devices basically. So I will now start the flashing procedure. It should take like 20 seconds at most, depending on the settings. Otherwise it's now finished. And we should be able to see a new device here, which you can see here. And this is basically the yeah, new now Apple AirTag. You can see the public key is showing a bit of state, like the battery is full. It will always show so show full in this uh, situation just because if the battery is empty it will just not advertise anymore so it will not work anymore so yeah after that we can now unplug the USB to UART converter we can desolder all the connections again I will quickly do this like so and now we want to connect the battery to it and for that I will use yeah, this cheap old battery holder and just noting where plus and where minus is so the this connector here is the VCC pin and this is the ground pin so what we will do is we will solder it on just like this. So we have VCC connecting just to this one VCC pin and the ground pin can also be connected to the outer shell. This way it has a bit more sturdy connection. It will not work better but it's just better overall. So like this should look good. So I'm just Thinning everything again, also connecting it here and as well connecting it to this outer shell, like so. And this is basically all. We can now connect the battery to it, like so. It will directly start, it has no LED, no nothing. And it draws around um, 10 microampere plus or minus so it's even holding quite long and you can also see like this is now transmitting to the mobile phone and if I um, so you can see it's like a 200 milliseconds interval and if I disconnect the battery it will stop advertising and you will see it will be grayed out in a moment like this so it's not advertising anymore and if turned on again, as you can see, it starts to advertise again. This is just a really simple firmware inside, just the bare minimum, no GPIO action. It will just work. So yeah, that's it. One of the cheapest Find My devices. And you could even implement way more features in firmware if you want to. It's just, as mentioned, the bare minimum. Okay, have a great day.